when we talk about a variable being created inside of memory so of course this variable right now occupies a bit of space a couple of bytes inside of memory the creation of this variable is usually called allocation to allocate memory so over here when we create our integer on the heap using a pointer and the new keyword we are allocating memory for our integer of course when we create a integer right over here in the regular memory storage room we are ultimately also allocating memory but the truth is that it's not really us who's allocating this the memory for this integer right over here the program takes takes care of the details the dirty details of getting into memory and making space for our integer we're just pretty much declaring a variable and giving it a name and a value but over here we are like digging a little deeper into the details of creating a variable so this is more often called allocation of memory we allocate memory for our integer variable or whatever variable it is we're creating the very first thing and most important thing you should know about allocating memory using the new operator is that you have total responsibility of deallocating the memory when you're finished when you're done with your integer variable if you don't clean up after yourself no one else will unlike the regular integer variables we've been creating until now where the program would take care of everything as soon as a certain function would be finished would exit every local variable would be destroyed automatically but that doesn't happen with the memory that you allocate using the new operator if you allocate it you have to deallocate the way you do this is simply by deleting the memory address or more precisely the stuff inside of the memory address where you allocated this integer this is done by using another special keyword the delete keyword just as the new keyword prepared some memory for us and gave us an address which we put into a pointer the delete operator also needs an address where it's supposed to delete memory so of course we give it the pointer which contains the memory address where our variable was allocated just as simple as that don't get confused and start dereferencing this pointer or something we are not trying to delete the variable that's over there we are trying to delete all of the memory starting at the location which the pointer contains so for that we just use the pointers name as is with no other operators like dereferencing or whatever just like this we have deallocated all the memory that we allocated when we created this integer if you don't delete stuff that you created that you allocated using the new operator here's what will happen let's say in your program you create one integer variable and then afterwards another one and another one and another one and after a long time in your program you've created probably thousands and maybe even more of integers and characters and floats and even custom objects like your own classes that you created whatever they may be called soldiers or ogres or whatever you yourself created and you never pay attention to delete something which you allocated you just whatever you let the pointer die by going out of scope and you don't do anything about the memory which we prepared which we created which we allocated as you can imagine after a long time or maybe even not so long your private storage room will fill up to the top and just won't have any more space for anything else and you will be wondering hey wait a second I thought my storage room is pretty big it should be able to hold a whole bunch of variables and even though I created millions of variables but I'm not using them anymore I let all the pointers die and so I'm not I'm not using any of those variables anymore how come I don't have any more space in my private storage room the answer is simple if you did not clean up after yourself no one else will so if you allocated memory without deallocating it the memory will stay there and stay there and stay there until someone comes around and 
deallocates it. And if no one does, well then, that's it. You won't be able to use that memory space. You must, must get used to deleting everything that you allocate with new. Every single time you have the new keyword in your program, you should make sure that this new is matched up by a corresponding delete command. If I allocated, I delete. I'll say it again. Create your variables, allocate them on the heap, use them for as long as you need, and as soon as you're done, delete them. If you don't delete them, your memory will fill up more and more and more until it's totally full and there's no more space. This is known as a memory leak because when you allocate memory which you don't really need anymore and you don't delete that memory, well then that memory that you allocated will still be there which means you won't be able to use that memory for something else, for some other variables you'd like to create. And it's as if that memory has leaked out of your computer, which you can't use anymore. At least not until your program finishes and the operating system hopefully puts everything back into order. But for as long as your program is running, as long as you allocated something and you did not delete it, that memory will still be there and you won't be able to use it for something else. Now, your only hope and only chance and possibility to be able to delete this memory that you allocated is through the pointer which holds the memory address of that location. So don't you dare let this pointer run out of scope and be destroyed or something like that before you manage to delete the memory address in this pointer. The worst thing that can happen to you is that you lose the pointer, you lose the memory address of the location where you allocated memory because once you lose that you have no possible way of getting to that location in memory to free it up to delete the stuff that's in there to make it available again for your program. So don't lose the memory address, the pointer that's pointing to that place in your private storage room or you will have a guaranteed memory leak. Okay, enough with the terrifying consequences of using new and not using delete and all that. What do we gain from creating variables on this new storage room in memory called the heap and getting a pointer to that place in memory? Well, here's the good news. This integer will stay in that place in memory forever like I said, until you delete that pointer. You can call functions, return from functions, go in and out of different levels of scope, teleport from one function to a different function, do everything you'd like. This variable will survive anything that happens, and yes, it has absolutely no rules of scope. It will peacefully live in memory so long as no one has deleted it yet. Now again, I only said that it lives in memory. While that's pretty cool, that it's still going to live in memory and not be subject to the rules of scope, but don't forget that the only way we can possibly access and use this variable is only by its address in memory, the address which we put inside of a pointer. So right now this pointer is actually a local object, which means of course this pointer will only exist for as long as this function lives. But this pointer contains the key, the memory address, to, t to play around and do whatever we'd like with this variable in our memory storage room. We can take this memory address that's in this pointer and pass it inside of functions, inside of class methods, basically pass it around to any, anywhere we'd like at whatever level of scope we'd like and whichever function will get this memory address, this pointer, will have full control, full power over this integer, which lives forever in memory. No one will create local copies of the integer or anything like that. Everyone will have a pointer, the address, the location in our private storage room where this integer is allocated. So everyone can change it around and do whatever they like and actually have permanent effect. 
I repeat again, do not forget to ultimately delete the pointer. And stay tuned, we're not done yet with all this complicated stuff.